If you're looking to throw some weight around your home gym, well, you might want to consider getting yourself a pair of bumper plates, my friend. Not only are they wrapped in rubber, it's going to decrease the chances of ruining your sanctuary, but they're also going to allow you to do certain exercises where the barbell tends to be dropped onto the ground. I've been using these slick again, faster bumper plates for a few weeks. So now I'm going to share my findings with you guys. What's up everybody, it's Jake back in the Barbin Garage Gym and in for review today, I've got the again faster bumper plates. In this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about these bumper plates from the price, some features, pros and cons, and of course, who should or maybe should not add these to their home gym. Before we get started, I have to let you know, we've reviewed a lot of bumper plates on barbin.com. And if you wanna explore our best list, just search Barbin Best Bumper Plates, and you can find out for yourself which ones we like the best. Okay, so what do I like about these bumper plates? Well, for starters, they're available in individual pairs as well as full sets. So individual pairs come in 10, 15, 25, 35, and 45 pound options. And the full sets are gonna range from 160 up to 1,000 pounds. So really, there's an option out there for everybody. Since they are in fact bumper plates, they're coated in rubber. So this is really nice, especially for at-home usage. It's gonna decrease the chance of ruining your floors, as well as protecting the barbell from damage in those exercises where it tends to be dropped. These are wrapped in a virgin rubber coating, so it's really gonna add on to that durability. And the collar is coat molded, which essentially means that it was fused to the coating. So it's one big piece. A pretty cool thing here is that these are actually approved for the Army Combat Fitness Test. It's just pretty cool in my opinion. And they also have a durometer rating of 90. That's pretty high, the highest is 100. So it's gonna really add on to that durability. It's gonna prevent them from breaking over time. And the steel inserts are made from 304 steel. This is one of the most commonly found forms of steel due to its high level resistance from rust. All right, so there are a couple issues that you might potentially run into with these bumper plates. Since they are in fact bumper plates, you're not gonna find any handles here. So that could be a little bit problematic when you're loading or unloading your barbell, as well as picking them up off the ground could be a little bit more difficult to pick them up because you have to get your hands underneath the plate. Shouldn't be that much of an issue for you. It's just something worth mentioning. And once again, since they are bumper plates, they're not Olympic plates. So they actually don't meet the standards of the International Weightlifting Federation in terms of thickness. All right, so for instance, a 45 pound Olympic plate is 2.1 inches thick, while this 45 pound bumper plate is 2.9 inches thick. So if you are an Olympic lifting competitor out there, this really isn't the option for you in terms of practicing from home. You can still, all, you can still do all the same exercises, it's just not you know, to the standards of the IWF. One thing I also noticed here is that these plates do have two seams on the outer edges. And you know, I don't really know if this is gonna decrease the lifespan of these plates, but it's something worth mentioning because I did notice it. If that's something you're worried about, I mean, you could go and find some plates that only have one seam in the middle. And there's also some out there that look like they don't even have a seam. So once again, just something worth mentioning. And these are considered cost efficient compared to some of the other brands out there on the market. But let's be honest, no workout equipment is necessarily cheap, right? So if these fall out of your price range, you could go and get some from Walmart or something if you want, but odds are those aren't gonna last you very long like these will. Okay, so I know what you wanna hear now. How much are these gonna cost me, right? All right, so since you can purchase these in individual pairs and as a full set, we're gonna split this up. Let's start with the individual pairs. You're gonna find a 10 pound pair to cost you about 80 bucks. The 25s are about $140. And the 45 pound pair, that's gonna be about $240. Now, if you were to go and get yourself a full set, it's gonna wind up being the best way to go in terms of saving money in the long run. So you're gonna have seven different options to choose from. And as you may assume, the cheapest option is gonna be the 160 pound set. That's gonna cost you around 420 bucks. 
the 450 pound set, that's around 930. And the 1,000 pound set, that's about two grand. So I know these are a little bit pricey still, and there is an option for everyone, which is nice, but they still could fall out of your price range. But it is worth mentioning that when you go up in the weight sets, they're actually a little bit cheaper than some competitors like Rogue. So compared to the rest of the market, actually getting a pretty good deal. These are pretty durable and they could last you up to 10 years. Might make the money worth it in my opinion. All right, so let's talk about the build now with these again, faster bumper plates. As I mentioned, you do have 304 steel inserts in these plates. The collars are co-molded to the virgin rubber coating. And really, it's just gonna increase the lifespan of these plates. They could last you 10 years, maybe even longer. So I did mention these plates do not meet the International Weightlifting Federation in terms of thickness, but they do in terms of diameter. So all these plates are gonna have diameter 17.7 inches. That's not gonna change. It's a really nice feature gonna allow beginners to use the lighter plates and get proper form for movements like a power clean, which is really cool. But on the other hand, the plates are obviously gonna be thicker depending on how heavy you go. So all I have today is the 25 and 45 pound plates, but for reference, the 10 pound plate, it's an inch thick. So typically 10 pound bumper plates are like eight tenths of an inch thick. So that durability of that 10 pound plate is increased and it may even prevent it bending or tacoing over time. 15 pound plates, those are 1.1 inch thick. These 25 pound plates are 1.9 inches thick. The 35s are 2.6 inches thick. And these 45, once again, those are 2.9 inches thick. You do not have handles on these bumper plates. That's pretty typical when it comes to bumper plates. Shouldn't be that much of an issue. Cool thing is, as you can see, they are color coded. Now, does it matter if they're color coded? Not really, you can go get yourself a pair of black bumper plates. They're not gonna work any different than these will, but it's nice because you can easily see which plate is which and know mentally how heavy that plate is you can kind of memorize it. But if you don't really care for all that, you also do have some really nice big white lettering here. I like the font and it's super easy to read. You can easily pick and choose which plate you're going to grab. Okay, and while these are also rounded, the edges are technically flat. So this could be a bit of an issue as you're going to pick them up off the ground. You know, the 25 wasn't that bad, but these 45s, I will say, I did have a bit of an issue at first. It was laying flat on the ground. I went to go pick it up. I couldn't really get a good grip on it at all. So I had to slide it up against my foot, get that extra leverage and lift it up. So you're really gonna have to focus on getting your hands underneath these plates. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more now about those individual pairs and the full sets. So once again, the pairs range from 10 pounds to 45 pounds. And those full sets are gonna range from 160 to 1,000 pounds. And the weight you get in those full sets, well, that's gonna vary depending on how heavy you go with. So let's start with that 160 pound set. You're gonna get two 10s, two 25s, and two 45 pound plates with your purchase. 350 pound set, you're gonna get two 10s, two 15s, two 25s, two 35s, and then two 45 pound plates with that purchase. And that 1,000 pound set, well that's really gonna be the biggest bang for your buck because you are gonna get eight 10s, 10 15s, eight 25s, six 35s, and eight 45 pound plates. Now, I know that's too grand up front, and if you don't wanna do that, I completely understand. But like I said, it is gonna be the biggest bang for your buck, because if you were to start lighter and then expand over time, you're gonna actually wind up spending more money than if you just shelled out that two grand from the get-go. All right, let's take a quick walk around these bumper plates now. Let's start with the fact that these are in fact color coded, as you can see. It's gonna be specific to each weight. That's gonna make it really easy for you to pick and choose which one you wanna go with. But you know, you also have this big white lettering on both sides of the plate. And that's just gonna you know, help you out even more. That white really contrasts with the color of the plate. And I like the big white font as well. Just brings a nice aesthetic to it. I like the font that they use. The co-molded collar right here, as you look up close and you kind of put your finger right here, 
you can't, there's really no seam at all. So that's gonna increase that durability and help these last for a really long time. Now, as you flip them to the side, you'll see that there are two seams on the outside. Now, I don't know if that's gonna really decrease the lifespan of these plates, but it's worth mentioning it. And especially since there's some plates out there that only feature one seam right down the middle. And there's some that you can't even tell that there's a seam on them. Now, they're obviously rounded, but they also have a squared off profile and that's what's making them stand up on their own right now. So with this 25 pound plate, I didn't have any issues when picking it up off the ground when it was laying flat. But with the 45s, I definitely had to slide it to my foot just to get that extra leverage to get my hand up underneath it to pick it up off the ground. And that could be a little bit of an issue for you, but I mean, I got the hang of it. I'm sure you can too. All right, now the thickness is gonna vary depending on which plate you go with, but the diameters of these plates are all identical. So I'm gonna slide this across right here for you. They meet the International Weightlifting Federation standards of 17.7 inches. And you know, you can't see this blue one. So that's really nice. It goes to show they are in fact the same diameter, but just for the purpose of this video, I do have a tape measure for you guys. So let's go ahead and do that for y'all. As you can see, it's right there at 17.7 inches. So it backed up what they said. Okay, so who should purchase these again faster bumper plates? Well, if you're somebody out there who's wanting to ramp up your at-home workouts with some power cleans, these are a good option to consider. The Virgin Rubber is gonna protect the plate itself as well as the barbell and your floor from any potential damage. The 304 steel inserts are gonna protect the plate over time and prevent them from bending. And since you do have various buying options, neither individual pairs or full set, you always have the luxury of expanding your weight over time. Okay, so what about the people who, I don't know, maybe should not purchase these bumper plates? Well, let's talk about price. All right, I know these are considered cost effective compared to some other brands out there, but they're not really cheap, right? If they do fall out of your price range, I'm sure you could go out there and find some bumper plates. They're gonna cost you less than these, but you'll probably have to replace those sooner than you'd have to replace these. So wouldn't you actually wind up spending more money in the long run? Yeah. So since these are also bumper plates, once again, they don't have handles. So if that's something you just can't get over, then maybe you just need to get yourself some traditional plates. You might even could find some urethane plates that have handles. But remember, traditional plates are not meant for the same exercises as bumper plates are. And the urethane might actually crack. So that lifespan might be shorter than some bumper plates like these are. And one more thing, remember these are not Olympic plates, they're bumper plates. So they do not meet the thickness standards of the International Weightlifting Federation. So if you're a competitor out there, you're looking for an option to train from home, yeah, you can still use these, you can still do all the same movements, but they are thicker. So that's something you might need to remember when you're going to make a purchase. All right, y'all, that's a wrap on today's review over the, again, faster Evolution bumper plates. I think these are pretty sweet in my opinion. I like the color coding. It looks nice and aesthetic in our gym. The 304 steel inserts, the virgin rubber coating, and the co-molded collars are really gonna add to the durability. I don't have to worry about them bending and me having to replace them in just a couple of years. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope this video was helpful and showed you what these bumper plates can bring to your home gym. As always, stay on the lookout for my next review, but for now, why don't you head over to barbend.com and you can read more on these bumper plates. Just search Barbend Again Faster Evolution Bumper Plates and you can read everything we talked about here today in more detail. I'll see y'all next time.